Remembering the thrill of Starship's first launch, we're now eagerly waiting for the next flight happening very soon. This anticipation comes from both the successes and obstacles we experienced during that initial launch. The 20th of April orbital flight test was a significant step in SpaceX's journey. While the first Starship launch ended in an explosion, it was far from a failure. In fact, SpaceX deemed it a success due to the valuable data gathered and key milestones achieved during the nearly four-minute flight. With the lessons from the maiden launch serving as their guiding light, the SpaceX team, stationed at the company's Starbase facility, is eager and prepared to face the forthcoming challenges. Their immediate focus is the second Starship flight, featuring Booster 9 and Ship 25. To ensure its successful launch, the team is powering through a flurry of preparatory tasks. Drawing from the experience of Booster 7 and Ship 24's flight, SpaceX is set to refine their processes significantly. This effort aims to shorten the pad flow duration, the period from when the rocket is rolled out onto the launch pad to its liftoff, which previously extended over a month, including several rollbacks for additional modifications. This streamlining aligns with SpaceX's goal of achieving daily launches from the same pad in the future. In preparation for the second flight, several modifications are underway at the launch site. One major enhancement involves installing a water-cooled steel plate and deluge system under the Orbital Launch Mount, or OLM. This adjustment is anticipated to mitigate the effects of flying debris, an issue encountered during the maiden launch when Booster 7 churned up a rock tornado. The modifications will undergo rigorous testing, including the integration of Booster 9 on the orbital launch mount and full-stack integration of Ship 25. Ship 25 will conduct a six-engine static fire test at the suborbital launch site soon. This rigorous testing phase, lasting around a month, ensures that the updated pad, the booster, and the Starship are all in optimal condition for the next high-stakes launch. Both Ship 25 and Booster 9 are primed for action, having successfully completed the first half of their ground tests. In the wake of Ship 25's debut at SpaceX's South Texas launch and test facilities last October, it has undergone rigorous tests that include pneumatic proof tests, multiple cryogenic proof tests, and several simulated thrust tests. Currently equipped with six Raptor 2 engines, the Ship 25 could generate up to 1,080 tons of thrust. If Ship 25 leaps straight into a six-engine static fire test, it signifies a growing confidence in the current Starship design. Booster 9, while further behind in its testing phase, is not far from joining its counterpart. Two months behind Ship 25 in its proof test completion, Booster 9 rolled out of its assembly by last December. Having finished two partial cryogenic proof tests, during which it was loaded with 1,000 tons of liquid nitrogen to simulate propellant, Booster 9 is now ready for its Raptor engine installations. Significant design changes and upgrades on Booster 9 have resulted in a prolonged outfitting and testing process. These include modifications to the Raptor engine's combustion-related hardware and a complete overhaul of the Thrust Vector Control, or TVC, responsible for steering the engine. Booster 9's design now incorporates an electrically steered TVC, eliminating the need for complicated hydraulic power units. This development streamlines the booster's exterior and reduces the intricacy of the plumbing required to control and steer the numerous high-performance rocket engines on a single booster. With all 33 engines installed, Booster 9 will undergo thorough testing to ensure all systems are functioning optimally. SpaceX is also making significant strides in its engine technology. The introduction of the Raptor 3, a revolutionary rocket engine, is a case in point. The Raptor 2 had consistently achieved 230 tons of thrust by February 2022. Through intricate tuning of engine parameters and design refinements, SpaceX projected the Raptor 2's output to peak at a minimum of 250 tons of thrust. What's more, the production cost of the Raptor 2 was approximately half that of the Raptor 1, the version SpaceX had been using from 2018 to 2021. This cost reduction underscores SpaceX's emphasis on both performance and affordability. Taking a quantum leap from the Raptor 2, the Raptor 3 stands as a titan in rocket engine technology. This improved engine has broken the barriers of its predecessor by reaching an astounding 350 bars of pressure and a maximum thrust of 269 tons. 
This remarkable thrust increase over the Raptor 2 puts the Raptor 3 in a class of its own. For perspective, the Saturn V rocket, renowned for its role in the Apollo moon missions, generated 34.5 million newtons, or 7.6 million pounds of thrust. In comparison, the planned Starship Super Heavy booster, powered by the Raptor 3 engines, is expected to deliver a mind-blowing 2.56 times the thrust of the Saturn V. SpaceX has remained tight-lipped about whether the second Starship orbital launch will carry a payload. However, FCC documents hint at the possibility of a payload. Even NASA seems to be eagerly awaiting the Starship's next test. While launch site repairs continue, SpaceX is targeting orbital success this year and plans to launch several Starships before proceeding with the Human Landing System or HLS contract. The HLS contract involves numerous tanker vehicles and a crewed lander. It's essential to remember the remarkable strides the company has already made in 2023. Even though we're not yet halfway through the year, SpaceX has been making history with an audacious target of launching 100 rockets this year. This ambitious target requires a launch frequency of about one rocket every three to four days, and SpaceX is already rising to the challenge. So far this year, they've launched an impressive 38 rockets. This includes 35 of their reliable Falcon 9 rockets, a pair of Falcon Heavies, and of course, the much-anticipated Starship. Now, if you're wondering about the success rate of these missions, it's quite staggering. Every single one of these 38 launches has been successful. That's a 100% success rate, a testament to the expertise, precision, and reliability of the SpaceX team. In terms of launch frequency, SpaceX has been firing a rocket into the sky roughly every four days. To meet their target of 100 launches this year, they'll need to bring that down slightly to 3.65 days between each launch. But given SpaceX's track record, we won't be surprised to see them achieve that. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.